Install six hex bolts, number four, and thrust washer, number three, through top of hopper and through support frame. Secure bottom of bolt with lock nut, number five. To avoid damage, do not over tighten. Attach tow tube to the hopper support. Secure using two hex bolts, number 27, and two hex nuts, number 26, but do not fully tighten until after step eight. Slide the fan driver, number 24, and fan, number 25, onto the shaft of the transmission assembly, number 21, until both reach the pin spring, number 23. This is for pre-assembly only. Final adjustment of the fan is made later. Insert axle, number 6, through both hopper support openings and transmission assembly. Rotate axle to line up the hole with the hole in the transmission assembly hub. Insert hairpin cotter, number 40. Secure the transmission brace using two flat washers, number 32, and two nylon lock nuts, number 15. Slide axle bearing, number 7, onto the axle. If wheel hub is plastic, place one flat washer, number 8, one spacer, number 42, and one or two flat washers, number 8, as needed. Slide on wheel. Secure axle to the right wheel by inserting hairpin cotter, number 22, through the wheel hub and axle. After wheel is secure, slide on one flat washer, number 8, and one snapping E-ring, number 10. Slide down O-ring, number 20, and agitator spring, number 20, over transmission shaft. Insert cotter pin, number 18, through hole at the top of the transmission shaft. Flare the ends of the agitator spring to keep in place. Attach the upper and lower clevis halves, number 17, to tow tube number 28. Insert hitch pin into clevis and secure using hairpin cotter, number 16. Secure with two carriage bolts, number 14, and two nylon hex nuts, number 15. Slide flat grip, number 37, on end of flow control handle, number 31. Insert flow control handle through slot opening at the top of the gauge plate housing. Slide one hex bolt through one flat washer, number 32, then slide through one latch spacer, number 35, flow control handle, number 31, one special washer, number 33, one spring, number 34, and one special washer, number 33, through the other side of the gauge plate housing. Then slide flat washer, number 32, through hex bolt and secure to gauge plate using one hex nut, number 15. Attach handle stop and knob using one carriage bolt and one curved washer. Insert the S-shaped end of link rod, number 12, through the upper hole of the flow control handle, number 31. Attach the gauge plate to the tow tube using a hex bolt, number 36, with two flat washers, number 32, and two pivot bushings, number 38. Then hand turn a hex nut, number 15, but do not tighten. Repeat the steps on the other end of the gauge plate. After assembling the gauge plate to the tow tube, calibrate the gauge plate by pushing the gate all the way forward, then finally tighten the hex nuts located on the gauge plate. 